What's happening, YouTube? And I'm back for another one, baby. <laughs> um, and today I'm doing something I haven't done in a long time. Um, I'm doing the coastal trail. Right now I'm on like the coastal fire road and I actually parked at Pantol. Um, you do have to pay for parking there. Um, I was actually filming some other segments and I was coming back from somewhere, already had the recording gear obviously, and I'm like, you know what? Should probably uh, record the coastal trail. It's been a while and it's a beautiful trail and it's really fun. Um, you can normally just park on highway one and climb up and then go back down. So I decided to do something a little different today and start on the top. Uh, not my normal starting point, but uh, what the hell, I was already in the area. So without any further ado, let's uh, immediately get some awesome downhill. These views are amazing up here. I mean, I've been hiking out here a bunch, but I don't really ride out here that often. Salesforce, the tip of Transamerica, and the Bank of America building. Oh, and I see the Golden Gate Bridge just peeking out over the headlands. Beautiful day out here. A little breezy, but not too bad. All right. I haven't been riding much lately. It feels great to just be back on the bike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now I'm cold again. It's awesome to have like a bike legal trail, like coastal trail, just need about 50 more of them. And we'll be set. All the rutted out spots actually make this maybe more like a blue than a green. Sketchy. Uh. 
I remember the last time I rode this trail was in the summer. 2019. Hot as hell. Not a lot of shade on this trail. Oh, I gotta redeem myself on that one. Redemption. I put a foot down. Super right it out. Those are spots you'll eat shit on. Totally thought that was a trail. King gorgeous up here. Gorgeous. Oh, is that a whale? No, nope, never mind. It's a rock. That concludes the coastal trail. Now the uh, the fun begins. Gonna climb back up to the truck. But yeah, you could park like this pole out right out here. You could just park there where that white car is, and you don't have to pay for parking. But you can also uh, park up a pantle. Eight bucks. Not too shabby. All right. Just giving you guys a little update. Still climbing. Not too bad. I mean, the views will make you happy. And I don't know, it's not really that bad of a climb. Uh, I guess that, that really depends on who you ask. All right. That's pretty much it, guys. Just an out and back trail. Started at Pantol on this coastal road, obviously. Just starts on a paved road and then eventually turns into gravel and, and then single track, which is what we all want. More single track. Yes, please. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Okay, so I'm in the nice, quiet little town of Mere Beach, and uh, I heard about this little trail. It is a bike legal trail, as far as I know. It literally says bike path when you drive up, and it is on trail forks. So it's listed. Uh, it's listed as a blue, although there was one comment on trail forks stating that it was pretty gnarly. So there's a like a black diamond too. Uh, down below. So this is like the upper backyard trail and then there's like the lower backyard trail. So as far as I know, these are good to go. And like I said, there was a sign that says shared path here. I just saw a hiker with headphones on though. So I'm gonna have to wait a couple minutes. Those, uh, those are the worst to run into on a trail because they're not paying attention. They can't hear anything. 
you could ring a bell, you can shout, but they're in their own little world. And uh, someone did leave a comment saying this was a pretty treacherous trail, which gets me all excited. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give it a shot, see how it is. Obviously I've never done this trail, so should be fun. Hopefully I don't uh, fly off the bike. I'm not really in the mood. I've got a lot of stuff to do today. Don't need to break something. All right, guys, let's kick some ass. Pretty cool. Backyard trail, I get it. If anyone knows the history of this trail, please let me know in the comments. I never heard about it until I literally just saw it appear on Trail Forks one day. I'm like, I'm gonna give that a shot. All right, there's a couple hikers. I'm gonna let them get ahead. On a clear day, you can see forever. Oh, some more excellent views. Nice. Nice. Awesome. That was cool. Bike trail. Um, that was fun. I mean, pretty short. I'm actually gonna go, <laughs> I'm actually gonna ride it again, I think. Uh, yeah, it's listed as like four tenths of a mile or so. You're gonna have a bit of a climb up this. Uh, there's actually a few little spots for parking, so it's not too difficult. So there will be a little bit of a climb on the way back. Uh, but yeah, like I mentioned, when I was doing the coastal trail, there's tons of little trails you can shuttle around here. You could, Tenderfoot is on the way to this trail. You know, you could do coastal, you could do Tenderfoot, then you can come out, ride this, and then go chill at the beach, have a beer, go to Pelican Inn, have another beer, go somewhere else, have a few more beers. You get the point. <sighs> All right, climb time. What's up, YouTube? How you guys doing? Thanks again for sticking around and watching the whole video. You know I really appreciate it. Ah! Um, decided to do the coastal trail, uh, like I mentioned in the video. Hadn't rode it in some time. Actually, I've hiked it more recently than I even uh, rode it. Um, and I had a blast. I kind of forgot that how much fun that trail is. I knew about the views and, and all that, but Man, that trail's really fun. It's one of the few legal single tracks that we have. That's, you know, I would say a high quality trail. The trail's in a little funky condition. It's really rutted out. Needs some TLC right now. And obviously with uh, not receiving any rain in like the last six weeks, it's kind of dry and loose right now. Um, hopefully that changes. Come on, rain. But other than that, uh, God, I had a blast and luckily didn't run into any hikers. Um, just, I will say that trail is almost unrideable on the weekends. Unless you go really early or really late, it is gonna be just slam packed with hikers. That's, that's really the, one of the reasons I don't really ride it that often, but if I have a shot during the week, I definitely like to head out there and ride. Like I mentioned in the video, I parked up at Pantole. I normally ride 
or start my ride up on one and, and, and go up and down. But, you know, if you got eight bucks to spare and you're already in that area, you know, Pantol can get a little packed. So, you know, just keep that in mind. But down in Highway 1, there's multiple little pullouts. You can just park for free and ride up uh, and have a blast. And then as far as the Mere Beach trails, I literally just discovered those. I don't know, a couple weeks ago, just scrolling on Trail Forks, looking for ideas for, for these videos. And I'm like, what the hell? The upper backyard and the lower backyard trail? I gotta go check those out. I've been to Mere Beach a ton and I've hiked around there and that trail was awesome. Beautiful views, you can look down right at Mere Beach. The neighborhood is gorgeous. Um, and the trail was fun. Definitely, I would, I would rate it a uh, probably a solid blue. Someone left a comment on Trail Fork saying it was like a double black. It's definitely not a double black, it's a blue. Um, I'd like to go back and ride it again. And there's another trail that I mentioned in the video as well. That's a black diamond. I think it was the uh, lower um, backyard trail. So maybe eventually I'll go back out, shuttle those again and check that one out. All in all, it was a great day. If you haven't rode those trails, Go out, check them out, have a blast, and go enjoy them and report back. Let me know how you guys, uh, what you guys think. And um, like I always say, if you guys have any questions about the trails, shoot me an email, shoot me a DM. I'll do my best to get back to you. I've been really busy lately, so it's it's been a little tough. But other than that, guys, stay freaking excited, get stoked, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out.